Hi, today I'm going to show you how to reball a BGA 152 NAND chip. You'll need a jig, matching stencil, capped on tape, and a hot air rework station. I'm using a steel stencil kit that I bought off eBay specifically designed for hot air rework. I start by putting some capped on tape on the back of the chip, then slightly rolling the edges over and sticking it to my desk. This helps me align and later secure the chip to my stencil. Next, we need to secure the stencil. This jig uses a screw and Allen key setup. After that, we need to center the support spring, which helps compensate for bowing that may occur when the stencil is heated up. Now I'm applying some Amtec Flux. It helps the solder balls melt and properly adhere to the pads on the chip. After that, I spread the flux out so it evenly coats the stencil. Next, apply solder balls. I'm using my finger, but you can also use a spatula tool. Now we heat up the solder balls using a hot air rework station. The flux will help the solder melt quicker and adhere to the pads on the chip. Once the solder turns a molten silver color, we know it's done. Using a good flux is critical to the solder balls adhering to the pads. Once it looks like all the solder balls have melted and adhered to the chip, let it cool down. Now I've removed the stencil from the jig and put it in an ultrasonic cleaner. I prefer this over alcohol or flux remover because it easily removes excess solder balls and makes removing the capped on tape securing the chip easier. And there you have it, a reballed BGA 152 NAND chip.